unit number three and it's lesson number four paid from pages 44 to 45 and the name of the topic is use of english giving instructions all right now let's start this is the page okay we have to do it all right now see this page number 44 to 45 okay we will do we will start with the first point okay where is the duck all right if you can see in your book okay now see here if you can see in your book there 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 is a picture okay and there are the letter three pictures are there okay if you can see there is a table and a duck okay so they are telling the position where the duck is okay now let's read these sentences okay now see here lesson four unit uh, use of english giving instructions means to order to command or to give direction okay means batana ki koi cheez kahan par hai ya koi kaam kaise karna hai theek hai hukum dena all right batana all right so that is called instruction all right now see here <coughs> sorry now look at the questions instructions mean to tell someone to do something okay or say something or tell something in other words to give order command or to give direction okay this is what instruction is okay now see here question number one where is the duck okay now we have to see in this picture where the duck is all right number one the duck is on the table okay where is the duck can you see the duck in the picture number a in picture a can you see the duck where is the duck it is on the table so it means on on okay where is it it is on the table okay next the duck is under the table now see here b picture b okay in that it is where is it it is under the table okay where is the duck it is under the table okay now where is the, okay next where is the duck can you see the duck is near or next to or beside the table okay now see here the duck is next to the table okay where is the duck it is next okay k saath it is not on it is not under in the third picture where is it? where is it it is next next to next to ka matlab hota hai ke saath all right ke paas ke saath ya kareeb okay it is next to the table okay now see here what words are showing okay where the duck is these are the words which are showing the duck's position okay where is it now on under next to okay these are the three words which are telling about the duck that where is it okay so how you are asking you are asking where okay when we give instructions or we, when we tell something somebody to do okay or tell we use where okay or what or here in this lesson we are using where okay we are asking about the position okay we are pointing uh, towards the duck where is it okay so it is telling us that the duck is on the table in a number b under the table number c next to the table okay all right now let's move to the next question okay question number two play an instruction game it is also a game okay remember yesterday in previous lessons we always play some game okay here in this there is another game okay number one play this game with some friends okay okay you can play with anybody okay as we are at home we are not in the school so we don't have friends here with us okay so what we can do is we can play with this game or anything we want to do when they tell you to do something what we can do is we can play with our brother or sisters with uncle aunt or with the mother or father grandfather we, we can play this game with anybody okay at home okay now see here one player gives an instruction okay when there are two people what we have to do is 
यू हैव टू द फर्स्ट पर्सन ही विल गिव द इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके यहाँ पर दो लोग भी हो सकते हैं तीन लोग भी हो सकते हैं इट डिपेंड ओके तो जब फर्स्ट वाला पर्सन है वो क्या करेगा इंस्ट्रक्शन देगा आपको बताएगा कि आपने क्या करना है ओके द फर्स्ट पर्सन विल टेल यू वॉट यू हैव टू डू ओके ही विल टेल यू वॉट यू हैव टू डू ही विल गिव यू द इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके और यू कैन गिव द इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके इसमें दो लोग होंगे या तीन लोग होंगे तो उनमें से आप भी इंस्ट्रक्शन दे सकते हो आप भी बता सकते हो उसको कुछ करने के लिए या वो आपको बताएगा कि आपने क्या करना है ठीक है और आई नाउ नीज लेस सी नाउ द अदर प्लेयर फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके वट एवर यू टेल दम टू डू और वट एवर ही टेल्स यू टू डू यू हैव टू डू दो थिंग्स ओके जब वो आपको बताएगा कि आपने क्या करना है तो आपने वो करके दिखाना है ठीक है यू हैव टू शो द एक्शन यू हैव टू डू इट आपने उसको करना है ओके नाउ सी हेयर इंस्ट्रक्शन पिक्चर नंबर वन ओके इफ यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई हैव पेज थ्री द पिक्चर there is a boy and a girl okay see here there is a boy and a girl okay the boy is the uh, he is giving the instructions in this picture the boy is giving the instruction is picture mein instructions kon de raha hai boy okay ladka de raha hai and what is the girl doing what is she doing she is performing the actions or she is doing the things he is telling her to do okay wo kya kar rahi hai ki jo kuch bhi wo usko keh raha hai wo kar rahi hai okay what are the things he is telling her okay ab humne dekhna hai ki wo kaun si cheeze jo hai wo usko keh raha hai karne ke liye okay now let's see there is a cloud can you see <clears throat> there is a uh, cloud put your pencil under your nose now the boy said to her that you have to put your thing uh, your pencil under your nose okay ab wo usko kya keh raha hai ki aapne kya karna hai apni pencil jo hai usko kahan pe rakhna hai nose ke niche okay so what is she doing can you see her can you see the picture what is she doing she put it okay usne kya kiya hai she put all right usne apni pencil jo hai apni naak ke niche rakhi hai jaise hi usne bola hai okay now let's see next put your pencil under your nose okay so we have to make these sentences ourselves now ab humne kyunki ye game khel liya hai to ye sentences humne khud se banane hain theek hai now see here number 1 i have written it here number 1 put your pencil under your nose apni pencil apni nose ke niche rakhe number 2 put your finger next to your ear apni finger apne kaan ke side par rakhe okay ke paas rakhe ya kareeb rakhe ke saath rakhe okay next number 3 put your hand on your head apna haath jo hai apne sar ke upar rakhe okay so this is the table given here okay so this is the person these are the things okay and these are the prepositions okay which are telling us which we are show, which are showing the instructions what they have to do okay ye kya kar rahi hai ye position bata rahi hai ki kahan par rakhni hai aur put jab aap kar kehte hain to it means that you are giving instructions okay so here next in picture 2 okay if you can see there is another picture okay there are few things are there okay number 1 chair table book arm leg toes knee ear nose foot okay these are now what you have to do is <clears throat> look at this now these are the pictures and you have to play this game the same way okay one person will give the instructions and the other will what will he do he will act okay now see here number 1 put your foot on the chair okay next put your arm on the table okay see i'm using these words first in the first one i use foot okay for chair okay put your foot on the chair and in the second sentence i used arm okay for what okay i i told that you have to put your arm on the table okay next put your leg under the table now where you have to put your leg under the table okay next put your book on the table okay there is another book okay what you have to do is you have to put it on the table next put your book on the table put your 
toes next to your chair so where you have to put your foot this these are toes jo hamare paon ki ungliyan hoti hain unko hum kehte hain toes okay so where you have to put them next to the chair okay next put your nose on your knee okay here is your knee okay so where you have to put your where you have to place your nose on your knee next put your ear on the table okay this is your ear what you have to do is you have to tilt your head and then you have to put your ear on the table okay this is how we play this game okay this is written you you have to tell the other person to do things for you okay and then he will do uh, he will perform all these things okay now uh, once again what you have to say put your pencil you will use this word put okay you can use place also okay so put put your pencil whatever you are telling okay whatever object you are telling to put okay anything okay pencil eraser sharpener book a pen okay anything any toy anything you can tell okay put your pencil under your nose whatever your body part is whatever the thing you are telling to put on it okay so here are the things also so this is how you have to play this game now next let's move to the next question question number 3 it is on page number 45 match the pictures and the instructions okay now see here these are the instructions these are the things he uh, which are told to do okay okay Now see here, ये वो सेंटेंसेस लिखे हुए हैं जो कि आपको बताने हैं ठीक है इंस्ट्रक्शन हुक्म देना है हदायत देनी है करने के लिए कहना है ठीक है नाउ सी हेयर एंड कैन यू सी दिक्चर हेयर ए बी एंड सी देर आर थ्री पिक्चर्स ओके नाउ लेट सी पुट योर राइट हैंड ऑन द टेबल इफ यू कैन सी पिक्चर ए ओके सो यू हैव टू मैच दिस विद ए ओके what is written here right hand and can you see in the picture the right hand is on the table so this sentence will go with a okay next number 2 touch your right ear okay can you see in the picture where is the boy who is touching or put a placing here touch uh, touching his ear with the right hand okay see here in picture c the boy is touching his ear with the right hand okay next number 3 shake your left foot see can you see shake this is the, there is the sign okay small lines are there it means that he is moving he is shaking his foot okay so this is his left foot so b is the answer shake your left foot okay so put your right hand on the table go with uh, will go with a touch your right hand uh, right ear it will go with c and shake your left foot it will go with b okay understood now let's move to next okay now see here there is a picture and in that picture there is a baby okay and here they have they have mentioned his parts of body okay here i mouth shoulder foot okay can you see okay now see here in his hand there is something it is called rattle or we can call it bobble bobbin sorry okay now see here bobbin mean wind 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 ka matlab hota hai hilana usko ghumana theek hai wind this is not wind okay wind ka matlab hota hai hawa it is wind wind ka matlab hota hai hilana move karna okay ghumana all right <clears throat> now see here let's see listen the uh, that audio speak point to your hair point to the baby's eyes point to your eyes point to the baby's mouth point to your mouth point to the baby's shoulder point to your shoulder point to the baby's foot point to your foot okay now see here in this picture what you have to do you have to tell or you have to ask okay where is the baby's hair where are his eyes okay where is the mouth where is your shoulder where is your foot where is my foot where is my shoulder where is my mouth where is my eye where is my hair okay so we ask question we give 
you know that when we uh, there is a small baby in our home what we do we always teach okay touch your eye touch your mo mouth touch your nose touch your hand okay to show me your hand wave your hand okay the where is your foot we ask this question to the baby and then he points okay aapko pata hai jab hamare ghar mein baby hota hai chote chote babies hote hain to mama papa bhaina bhai unko sikhate hain okay aap hame bataye aapki nose kidhar hai aapka mouth kidhar hai show me your teeth apne daant dikhaye अपने फुट को टच करें ठीक है तो वो बेबी जब सुनता है तो वो फिर अपनी नोज को टच करता है आईज को टच करता है माउथ को हैंड हिलाता है फुट को टच करता है हेयर को सो दिस इज हाउ वी टेल देम ओके हम जब मुझसे पूछते हैं वी प्लेस आर फिंगर्स आल्सो ऑन आर बॉडी पार्ट्स हम जब मुझसे पूछते हैं तो हम भी अपने जो अपने हाथों के साथ जो है अपने माउथ को अपनी आईज को अपने जो भी हम उनसे बॉडी पार्ट पूछते हैं तो हम उसके ऊपर पॉइंट करते हैं हम उसके ऊपर टच करते हैं उसके ऊपर हाथ रखते हैं ठीक है लाइक ओके नाउ वेन वी एज के बेबी वी पॉइंट ओके आर बॉडी बॉडी पार्ट दैट ही कैन सी ओके एंड टेल अस वेयर हिज बॉडी पार्ट आर ओके हम जब पूछते हैं तो हम बेबी को ये सारा बताते हैं ठीक है उसको इशारे से बताते हैं हाथों के साथ बताते हैं टच करते हैं और फिर उसको पता चलता है कि ये हमसे नोज के बारे में पूछ रहे हैं तो वो क्या करते हैं फिर अपनी नोज को टच करते हैं अपनी टीथ दिखाते हैं सो दिस इज कॉल्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन दिस इज हाउ वी गिव इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके इस इस तरह से हम क्या करते हैं इंस्ट्रक्शन पूछते हैं ओके वी एस डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस ओके डिफरेंट थिंग्स और वी टेल टू डू समथिंग ऑल राइट नाउ सी हियर आंसर पॉइंट टू योर हेयर पॉइंट टू द बेबी साइ पॉइंट टू योर आई पॉइंट टू द बेबीज माउथ एज आई टोल्ड यू हाउ वी tell them the babies okay how they react or how we tell them or to do things or tell something okay now next <clears throat> Here, wind the bobbin up. Follow the instructions. Sing and dance. Okay. Now this is the again. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap. Point to your shoulders. Point to your nose. Point to your ears and point to your toes. Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up. Pull up. Clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling. Ceiling. Chhat ko kehte hain. ठीक है. एक in the house we have two parts. Okay. Two. Okay. Like the upper part, जिसके ऊपर छत के ऊपर हम जाते हैं. Okay. उसको हम क्या कहते हैं अपर पार्ट जो होता है उसे रूफ कहते हैं और जो नीचे वाला जो हम कमरे के अंदर से ऊपर की तरफ देखते हैं जिसपे फैन लगा होता है ठीक है उसको हम सीलिंग कहते हैं दैट पार्ट इज कॉल्ड सीलिंग इफ यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर इट इज रिटन डाउनवर्ड ओके नीचे की तरफ लिखा हुआ है जो नीचे वाला पार्ट होता है जिसपे फैन लगा होता है उसे हम सीलिंग कहते हैं ठीक है सो दैट इज कॉल्ड सीलिंग और राइट नाउ सी हेयर point to the ceiling point to the floor okay this is floor if you can see in the picture it is written there ceiling and floor okay point to the door where is the door here is the door okay next clap your hands together 1 2 3 put your hands upon your knees okay now see here what you have to do is you have to like you have to act like this this is the poem all right so you have to Uh, when you are doing these actions you can clap you can uh, take anything you can bang the table whatever you can do you can do anything okay so next now see here this is the word uh, these are the sentences written here about these two pictures okay how you have to sing this or give instructions okay i have already explained to you now see here next this is your homework you have to read these pages 44 to 45 and then you have to make sentences wind under arm baby and class and then i'm going to give you some work uh, this is the worksheet okay you have to do that all right and these sentences you have to make in your um, notebook if we, uh, it is written in the uh, worksheet you don't have to do it in the copy okay simply do it on the worksheet all right so Let's. I'm going to stop it here. Hope you have understood this. Now let me stop it. Okay. Now 
it's a 24 and there is a box the words are written here so what you have to do is you have to write okay the name can you see the arrows here so you have to write the name here where is what is this or where is it okay so what is this first is okay now see here arm foot nose and toes where are the toes okay now see here okay sorry there is a mistake arrows are diff different moved okay number one this is arrow toes it is showing the toes here okay and the next one is here is if you can see it is hand okay next this is arm okay now this is the arrow is uh, messed up little okay so where is it it is here on the nose okay so you have to write here nose okay let me fix fix it then i will send it to you okay now next you have to show toes then hand after that foot and then nose and arm okay now next see there next giving instruction where is it okay look at the picture read the sentences write words from the word box in the blanks okay i have written few words in next to on under near so you have to look at this picture okay carefully and see where the things are okay here are the sentences written you have to write these words here in these sentences okay and you have to complete these sentences the ball is dash the table the cat is dash the armchair the clock is dash the wall the flowers are dash the vase the chair is dash the table the lamp is dash the book and the vase okay so you have to write here all these words okay and complete the sentences all right now i'm going to stay uh, stop it here okay, sometimes when you uh, do something uh, things always messed up okay so don't worry about it i'll uh, i will send it to you okay let's stop it here now okay all right class